In this video, I will be showing you how to solve simultaneous equations with one linear and one nonlinear equation. Now over here, I've already drawn out for you what this might look like. So here we have our linear equation. This is y is equal to x plus 6. And right next to it, in purple, we have our nonlinear equation, which is y is equal to x squared. And just to recall, linear means that it is a line. And so this x plus 6 is the line, but x squared is not. So anyway, let's write this out. We have our equation y is equal to x squared, and our equation y is equal to x plus 6. Now what we want to do here when we're solving our simultaneous equation, our simultaneous equation, we want to find the point where the values of x and y in both of our equations are equal to each other. Or in other words, we want to find the point of intersection between these two curves or lines. And while this may seem like it's something very new, you're actually, or you should already be familiar with the concepts that we're going to be going over here. Because we solve these simultaneous equations in the same way that we would solve any other simultaneous equations. So let's start out once again by writing out our equations, y is equal to x squared and y is equal to x plus 6. We can first number off our equations, so this is equation number 1 and this is equation number 2. And the method that I prefer to use when solving simultaneous equations is the substitution method. Substitution method where we take some value of x or y and we plug it back into the other equation. So this equation is already written out very nicely for us. y is equal to x plus 6. We already have the value for y separated, so we can simply plug it into our other equation. So we have y is equal to x plus 6, plug in x plus 6 over here, and we get x plus 6 is equal to x squared. And this is a modified version of our equation number two that we had from before. Now we need to solve for our values of x and we can do that by expanding this so we get x squared, that's an ugly color, x squared minus x minus six is equal to zero and we can simply factorize this from six we get uh, two and three so this is x squared plus 2x minus 3x minus 6 is equal to 0. We get x times x plus 2 minus 3 times x plus 2 is equal to 0. x minus 3 times x plus 2 is equal to 0. This gives us x minus 3 is equal to 0 or x is equal to 3 and also x plus 2 is equal to 0, which gives us x is equal to negative 2. So we have our values of x, or sorry, over here and over here. Now our next step is to solve for our values of y. So when x is equal to 3, when x is equal to 3, y is equal to x plus 6, which gives us a value of 3 plus 6, which is equal to 9. And when x is equal to minus 2, this gives us a value of y is equal to minus 2 plus 6 or 4. So our two, our final answer can be written out as x is equal to 3, y is equal to 9. That's a g, not a 9. y is equal to 9. Or x is equal to negative 2 and y is equal to 4. And if we were to look back at our graph, these would be our points of intersection. So this over here would be minus 2, 4, and this value would be 3, 9. So once again, when we're solving simultaneous equations with one linear and one nonlinear equation, it's very similar to how we've solved every other sim simultaneous equation that we've ever come across. I'm going to go over another example that is slightly more complicated. So we have, once again, two equations. x plus y is equal to 4 and 
x squared plus y squared is equal to 10. Now this is slightly more difficult because in our previous case we had y alone in both in both of our equations. So y was alone here and y was alone here. But over here we have y as squared, y is being squared in this equation. So that makes it a bit more complicated, but nothing we can't not do. So we come at this with a similar approach. We can say that number our equations first. This is equation one and this is equation two. Now we can substitute our value for y. So y is equal to four minus x into our other equation. So plug that in over here, we get x squared plus or y minus four squared is equal to 10. I'm sorry, this is supposed to be four minus x. Now we just need to open this up and then solve for x. We have x squared plus, open this up, it's a squared plus two, minus two ab plus b squared. So 16 minus two ab, four times x times two is minus eight x plus b squared, which is x squared is equal to 10. Let's simplify this, we get two x squared and then minus eight x plus 16 is equal to 10. Bring over the 10, we get two x squared minus eight x plus 16 minus 10 is equal to zero. Our final equation is two x squared minus eight x uh, plus six is equal to zero. And there's no immediate way for us to factor this out. So I will just plug it into our quadratic equation. We already know what that is. That's minus b plus minus the square root of b squared minus four ac divided by two a. So minus b is positive eight. So we have our value of eight plus minus the square root of b squared. Once again, eight squared is 64 minus four multiplied by a times c times two times six divided by two a, two times, two times two is four. Now we can solve what's inside of the parentheses or the square root. So we have eight plus minus the square root of 64, four times two is eight, eight times six is uh, 48, 48 over four, 64 minus 48 is 16, eight plus minus the root of 16 over four. So the root of 16 is four. So this is equal to eight plus minus four over four. This gives us two possible values for x and this is equal to x. This gives us two possible, two possible values for x. So x is equal to eight plus four over two or over four, which is 12 over four, which is equal to three. And our second value is x is equal to eight minus four over four, which is equal to four over four or one. So our two values for x are x is equal to three or x is equal to one. Now to get our final solution, we have to solve for our value of y or our values of y. So y is equal to four minus x. Four minus three is equal to one. So y is equal to one or x is equal to one and y is equal to four minus x, which is equal to three. And this is a solution to our question.